Death Bus 2.0. We have Death Bus 1, which for some reason all of the weapons except for the lightsaber disappeared on. So, and I don't feel like replacing those. So we're going to build Death Bus 2 right next to it. And now that I know that there is actually a better f car frame, that's way too small. Whoa. You know what, that could actually be pretty good for death bus. Not really many things to mount on, but it is flat, so maybe it'll be easier. So we are going to literally build death bus. And we need some heavy duty wheels. Yeah. Wheels that just scream awesome. Yeah, bus wheels. There we go. Actually, I have an idea. Weld? I weld. That. It's lined up. Oh crap. Yes. Double wide battle bus. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, crap! How do I redo? There is a redo. Dang it. Forgot. I need to remove that. Actually, gonna make that stay in place. Just so when I add things to them, they don't go all wonky. Forward, up, reverse, down. That would be in the back. Reverse. Good. I hear a dog. Why do I hear a dog? Actually, I have a, an idea. How long is this compared to this? Ideas are getting ridiculous. Uh, well, we're making, this was the Death Bus version 1 that slaughtered an army of zombies. Granted, the, all the turrets that I had on here, this is an old save of mine. Um, that was, people called it the Death Bus, so now we're literally making a Death Bus. So this will be Death Bus 2.0, as uh, Kuda, my mod, said. I can get it situated right. I'm gonna have to just easy weld it. Up underneath. Okay. 
like that. A little bit off center. Hopefully we can rotate it. That's about right. Little, oh, it's actually a little bit off. So I'm going to have to just do this very intricately. With the beam. Rotate it. Just like that. No! Oh my god. to do shouldn't just like that perfect now I just have to weld it in place Okay, so that's now on there. Now I have some more layers. Come on. Urgh. I'm fishing for a piece. Come on. There we go. Hit the old death bus. Oh, is that close to perfect? No! Oh. This is such an intricate job. Good enough. Oh, nuts. It's not on the rail. Oh, wait. No, I can attach this to this one. Those should be touching. Yeah. Okay. Now, that's the first, second, third, fourth layer. This looks like, nope, this is a smaller layer, good. Ah. Right there. Perfect. Okay. looks weird right now, but I do have a plan for it. Two, three, four, five. This will be the smallest that it gets. Perfect. Okay. Alright, now we have that. Now I can actually start adding... Second set.
Now, all those go forward, all those go back. The rest of them will be steering forward. I want to go left. First, I want to go right. And that goes on the side. Where's this one spinning? Backward. What? Used. Oh, it's just free spinning. Why well, it's doing that? I don't think there's a way that you can actually make wheels that turn. Can you? I don't think there is. Ball socket? Hmm. That's actually really cool how they have some of these. Now, my signature the thruster pack. I add some of these looking things. Not gonna add the thrusters just yet. We need a place to actually put them. So, oh, way too long. Oh, way too long. But nope, too short. That looks about right. Go. I want, what do I want? I need, uh, no, that's not what I want. Ladder? Hmm. No. General. Get one a little thinner. That's not thinner. There we go. Actually, I'm going to easy wheel that. That'll be much easier. Looks pretty straight. A little bit uneven on one end, but oh well, it'll be fine. That's just gonna wear be where I mount a seat. Oh, where's it going? Why is that sliding off? Whoa, where is it? What? What? Ah, Gmod physics, you baffle my mind once again. That is now on there. I'm just gonna try and weld this. That. Touching that too. So. Oh, I always like to multi weld things. That is actually not level. Let's just 
sort of gonna bug me. Oh crap. Now I've effed up the wheels. There we go. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Not gonna fix yourself? Come on. Oh, fine. I'll remove the wheels for now because those seem to be causing an issue. Whole thing that looks sort of cool the way it tilts. Come on. Fix it. Fix yourself. I didn't fix it. I need something a little wider just so it sits on top of the wheels. I gotta fix this whole thing. How did it? Gosh. Uh. Oh my god, what did I just do? Come on, just fix yourself. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? No collide. Isn't that a thing? Right. You don't collide with that. You don't collide with that. You also don't collide with that. You don't collide with that. don't even know. Hey! Fixed it. Yeah. I meant to do that. Okay. Good. Now that that's all situated, let's see. What is that one? Gonna be too wide. That should be alright. Yeah, that works. Ah, no. Looks pretty close. I have to move it a little down and rotate it just a little. Ah! Whoa! Alright, holding C, that might help. It's rotated wrong, that's why. Okay, still, still a little off. Right about... That looks even. And of course that's gonna happen to me. The game hates me. Not even at all, as I can tell. You're getting locked down. That is pretty much as perfect as I'm going to get it. 
Now that it's laying flat, I can weld it. I don't know if only one weld fixes this, but I like to do a multi weld. Just because of me. Alright, that is now on there. We now have throttle. And why is our steering not working? Steering does not want to work. But I'm gonna release every. Whoa! Why are there our wheels in the ground? There we go. Wheels are bouncing like crazy. They're turning. There is none. Perfect. Uh, and so we are going to have to probably do a thruster turning system because this is not wanting to work the way I wanted it to. I'm just going to have that, that all frozen. To remove that, that. Actually, we're going to remove all these wheels. I want a different wheel. I want one that works just a little bit better. And bump it up to 5,000 torque. These wheels look like. Um. Maybe some a little bigger. Oh, no. Ooh. You. That's more what I'm talking about. Yeah! Our controls are not set. So up, down. Oosh. And. Boom. Have these all go off the same control set and I'll just swap them around. Now go forward, now go reverse. I thought R was supposed to release them all. There we go. So we have backward. Stand on top of it and see. Ooh. Ah, it's running me over. Oh, it ran me over. Just as it was stopping. Okay. My throat is killing me right now. I've been going now since 9.30 and it is now 3.45 in the morning. Yeah, I can surf it. <laughs> it bounces. It's got like its own suspension system. I like that. And so we have forward. Then braking our torque. Probably could be a little better, but it doesn't need to be super fast. Hello, Ale! I think that's how you say it. If I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Hmm. That's actually not centered at all, but I don't know. Is that... That's actually pretty far off from centered. But it worked, so... It'll be fine. Move that up. Freeze that. Freeze the two main beams that the wheels are on. I want to have. I think we've. There's some angle stuff in steels, maybe? Is that what I'm thinking of? Had that, and I did this. Yes, that's actually what I want. I need a little longer. Have that. They have the base being longer. I don't need that. That's a good length. I just need it longer with 
I might have to double up the with. Hello, Flash the Pug. Welcome to the stream. So I'm going to easy weld a couple of these on. Good at the edge here. Rotate it just like that. All right. Now that's on there. Do the same. This piece. Oh, it actually welded it to the side, so don't want that. Right about there. And there. Okay. Now we have... Oh, crap, that's backwards. <laughs> I need to pay more attention. I'm welding it. So it would be on this edge. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Just like that. Then line them up to where they are. Flush. I can't see. Crap. Good enough. Yeah, that works. Alright. Now we have those on there, sort of as a bumper, if you would. Alright, we need two more on this end. One that goes on this side would be over here. Just like that. And this side would be over here. Yes. Just like that. Uh, that one's a little unstraight, but that's because I welded it a little off, but oh well. That'll serve the purpose for what they are going to be there for. Now, to add some of the extras onto it, need some plating. I wonder if I can easy weld that. Oh. I'll try and position it first so I get a better idea. When you're building a battle death bus point two, you want to make sure you have adequate armor plating. It doesn't just do that. Because our last attempt at this did not go quite as planned. That is actually getting all messed up now. So, there we go. Okay. Lower that on. Now I should be able to get a pretty good idea of where to weld it. I can see it. Just about right there. We're gonna have it. Ah. Oh, right. Here. Once again, I'm to the point where I can't see it. Oh, right there. Why did that. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just like that, so we have a nice angled 
front plate on there, but we still have a flat surface to mount some things downward on. I mainly wanted it for that angle. Alright. So far coming out better than this one did. It looks better at least. Yeah. We have a decent sized vehicle with its own suspension. It's like a giant leaf spring, if you know if you know anything about cars, older cars, they would have these as suspension. Uh, well, a leaf spring. That's not necessarily a leaf spring, but it works the same way. That's cool. Our knowledge. Yeah. Alright. The back one I've actually got a different plan for. We're gonna have something on there. Mainly to get up onto. I don't know. Can I get on that? And Good. So it acts like a step right now. Do I play Team Fortress 2? I do! Um, I was having, I was playing that earlier on the stream, and, uh, I was having a bit of an issues getting some things to work, so we had to update a few things. Uh, that was the first game we started playing on the stream. Uh, it was on, I've got a page that I pull up every now and then of all the main games that I play. I do play way more than that. This is that screen. That's basically all the games that I would mainly play during a stream. Otherwise, I'm normally just goofing around, playing what people want me to play, stuff like that. Stream about three, four times a week, I try to at least. Uh, a server. Do you mean a Gmod server or something else? Because as far as a Gmod server goes, I do not. And I don't know of any good ones. I haven't played around too much on Gmod servers. I mean, I've hosted a couple of my own for friends and stuff, but that's about it. I, they're not continuous servers. I need to get some side plating going. Uh, is there any longer than that? I'd like to get some glass, but that it's a little longer. Oh, not camera. Uh, I cannot create one. I'm actually already... Um, I used to run a Minecraft server. I do not have GTA 5. I would if it was on PC. That's uh, a bit of my dilemma there. All I have is a... I do have a 360, but... Um, I haven't really bought any games for it in almost over a year. So that's sort of my dilemma with all of that. Um, I used to run a Minecraft server for our clan, our, uh, which is now a gaming community, it's not just Minecraft, called the Prosperous People, and uh, we would do a lot of stuff like that, but I no longer run that, and I don't have the time or the uh, ability to run a server anymore. Uh, I had fun when I did it, but I just don't have the resources that it that's it takes to do something like that anymore. But I, I did have fun with it, but just not something that I could really get back into. Because I'm in college and it's taken all of my time up. Actually, no, that's too wide. That's not what I want. Never mind. Okay. Oh, there. Grab that from that angle. So it's gonna want to go on this side. Have it mounted. It was about mounted right here, I think. Yeah. That's pretty close. The wrong one. There we go. I do have a Skype. Um, it is what I use to conversate with our gaming community. Uh, I do not give it out publicly, though. So. That's not right. 
too far up. Actually, what I can do is I'll grab it right here. Put it where it's about the same distance apart. There we go. Okay. Now I have side plating armor glass thing. I don't know. I don't even know why I put those there. Just thought it'd look cool. On Steam? Um... I don't really accept people that I don't know personally on Steam. Uh, just as a personal preference so it doesn't get too crowded. Um, the best way to be notified of when I do streams and stuff, and I, I allow people to play with me on streams all the time, I will give out whatever server that I'm playing on and everything whenever I stream so that people can play with me. Um, we did that last night during a uh, Gmod game. We played Trouble in Terrace Town. We had a couple guys in there playing with us. But I will always announce servers that we're playing on. Um, but as far as uh, adding you to a personal um, account of mine, it's something I'm not able to do at the moment. Uh, just strictly like what I was saying before. Um, I like to just not keep it too crowded and stuff like that. But if you follow me here on Twitch, you will be notified on your email every time that I uh, start streaming. Which, I, like I said, I do fairly often. But giving anything out beyond that, uh, obviously, unless you were a part of the gaming community that I am a part of, um, you wouldn't necessarily have my Skype. Um, most of the people in our gaming community, since I am a one of the main leaders of it, uh, I do have um, give out my contact information through that, uh, which it is openly able to join. Um, it does require an application. Well, not really anymore. Uh, but it is open to join. Only thing we... There are a few rules about it. Um, that are listed on our homepage. Which, if Kuda is still here... Um, he's my moderator. Then he would let you know. But... I think we're going to continue on with this battle bus. Because I'm getting off track right now. <coughs> I'm at a drink. Never mind. But I still had some more left. Okay. We need... I want to put sort of a tank shell on this thing, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. How big is that? Oh. Oh, no. I just broke the, the glass. Crap. Maybe glass was not the best thing to use for that. Because I thought they would be solid and not actually breakable. Dang it. So. I have to replace those with actual panels. Which isn't too bad. Positioned in the middle so that I can tell where to easy weld. And about. Uh. About. Here? Yeah. Wait, that's a tire. That's not what I wanted to weld. Ah, crap. Bring that back. We had it... You know what, I'll just do it in the middle. That'll make this easier. About on that. Bit to where it's pretty level. Just like that. Yeah, that's almost perfect. Alright, so now we have a side plate on there as well as one that goes up. I'm going to add a second one. Where did I have that welded? It was just above the middle line. Put 
was right on this line. Right about there. Okay, so we now have that on there. I'm actually going to move the old bus over just a little bit. I forgot our controls still controlled the old old battle bus too. It actually has some steering. I'm just gonna send it off that way a little bit. Okay. This is the battle bus V2. That was the V1. This one is already coming together to be a more structurally sound vehicle. Which we're going to put some steering thrusters on here now. Some that won't be too noticeable, but will still be usable. So that'll probably be the can. And set the steering force at 2,000. Uh, no, I want that to go left. That to go right. So when I hit that, we'll push the front end that way. And now I want... That to go right, that to go left, do the same thing over there. So when I go left, pushes the front end that way. When I go right, pushes the front end that way, just to test it. Might need a little bit more force in it. Just because I want it to have a more of a jerking motion rather than... Uh, oh, the lightsaber hit it. Put that back in the light. And good. So we're going to remove both of those. Get our thruster back out. And increase the thrust. We're going to put it up to about 5,000. Maybe that will do some good. Left, right, okay. Our other battle bus is going nuts because I keep hitting the controls. That's a little better. Got some jerk in it, and it's actually wanting to turn somewhat. We might actually still need a little bit more force, because I want it to just sling around. I don't want it a gradual turn. I want it to be able to turn at a moment's notice. So, remove both of the thrusters. We're going to go all the way up to a 10,000 thrust. Left arrow, that'll be on the other side. Right. Left. Then, setting it on there. A little bit more thrustful, but I think those tires just might have so much grip that it doesn't want to sling the thing over. Just going to grab the whole thing. Get right there. So what we're going to do is add some more so can I add them to the wheels? I can put about five on each wheel somewhat even that way it's not tugging on the frame itself, but more of the wheels. That's what's going to have to be moving. And I might want to do it on these center frames right here. Oh well. If it causes an issue, we'll fix it.
Okay. Now, let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to actually slide when it's sitting still. What about while it's moving? Awesome. That's what I wanted right there. More or less. Okay. Good. We have turning vehicle. I'll probably add some more later on to where it just whips around whenever I really want it to, but for our purposes, that is going to do just fine. Looks a little odd, but hey, it works. That's all I care about. Alright. Now, we need some... Hmm. I'm going to put a... I don't think these can be broken, these glass panels. How big is that? That's more of one. Welding that. So right there. It right there. Get it around. Just like that. Now we'll put in some other ones just the same exact way. this here side okay we now have those on there they look pretty good they look like they're actually a part of the uh, other piece which is what I was going for. Now I need to flip these over. So that I can do the same with them. Very dog bark every now and then in the game. That makes me remember, reminds me of the dog that lives across from me. Oh no, that is actually not going to work. Um, we, if I put yeah, it needs to be that side. Just like that. Just like that. It's a little too low. I want to really get it as close as possible. Right about there. Okay. That's on there. Good. <coughs> Alright. So now, now that we have that, we can start working on our top plates.
Nose lay nice and flat across the top. Awesome. Don't have to worry about those going anywhere. I have to put in one more. That edge. A little off, actually. Try and fix that real quick. Whoa! Easy. Okay. Now this whole thing is pretty solid. I'm not too worried about it right now. Bring it up a little bit. Now, need to be able to actually. I'm gonna drop it, freeze it, just to make sure I can still get in, which I can. Awesome. <coughs> now what I'm gonna do is add some thin. Actually, no, those are those will be the same size, so. But those probably would have been better for one of the sides. Oh well. Need a... Sort of a window. That'll work. All jumpy. Maybe I can just easy build it. go. Sort of a basic window. Now I need to put a vertical piece in that way. This piece does not like to stay put. So to weld that. This. Weld it to that edge. Maybe it won't give me any more problems. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Those together. I don't remember welding them together. Same thing with those. I'm gonna weld everything together that I know is touching. Those are not touching up at the top. So I can make sure that stability is not an issue. Now we need vertical piece. I can do this too. Right there. Yeah, that works pretty well. A little bit more of a scoop, which is what I wanted. Sort of a compartment. This looks good. This is where I can put a lot of weapons and stuff. That sort. I actually have an idea. Not sure how that idea is going to work right now. I actually I do now. This needs to go here. I 
actually picked the wrong angle. Right here. There we go. Just like that. Awesome. And another one. Other side. Awesome. And then putting a flat panel up on top. Just like so. So even more weapon space up there. Cool. I'm actually going to put a vertical two-piece down right on there. I like the easy world a little bit more than normal world just because it doesn't seem to mess up of as often. You can tell where you're placing it. Okay. Oh, we now have a pretty solid piece of machinery, if I do say so myself. Weld everything together. Now have a battle tank. Awesome. Sweet. Awesome. We now have a very heavy duty battle vehicle. It looks so much better than my old one. A little bit glitchy with some of the parts, but overall should be all right. It's actually a little off. Remove that. Because that is causing a few issues. I'm actually going to put an angled piece down. So we don't have to deal with that. That's about right there. A little bit off. Good, we're gonna do it top. Have it just like it would show it. Just like that. Awesome. That thing is going nuts over there. Okay. Now we have that. A little less uh, weapon mounting, but it should be okay. Should be. We're going to put some... Where is they at? Specialized. I believe they're in here. I want a turret. That to be solid. Just like that. Oh, not the, ah. There we go. I want to be able to mount a gun in the middle of this. Okay. Awesome. 
Awesome. Now we can weld that. Do that. It will not go anywhere. All right. It is pretty solid. Nice open back to get in and out of. Once I want to see what it looks like when you're in it. Hello, Henry Cole. Welcome to the stream. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. So everything's looking pretty decent so far. What to add as far as body goes? I want to do a mounted gun in there. Use spikes coming off of this. That thing is really top heavy now. That might not have been the best idea. Putting that thing there, the thing's already top heavy. I don't need to make it any worse. So, we'll do a. I get a wide, thin angle. Those are those on here. What is that? The wide thin angle, does it fit in the middle? Question. Positioned, right? Not really. It's putting a lot of strain on stuff. It's just the wrong size. Oh, crap. Crap, hold up. Oh, that's a little thinner. It's too high of an angle. What I'm looking for is this piece, maybe? Possibly. Looks like a thin... Nope, it's just the wrong... So... Uh... Small... Small, small, way too small, really too small, dang. Okay. Um. Way to mount that. Could mount this, though better suited for this. Hmm. Well, I've actually gone 30 minutes past when I said I was going to stop streaming, but I'm in the middle of doing something, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to put these back there, just so I can see out the back when I want to. Still need to have it to where I can get in, so that might not be the best idea. Yeah, I want to be able to get in my vehicle at least. Right now, I think I still can. It's off the ground, but if I can get on it right now, then I know I can. Yep, I can still get on it. That is just the right height to where I can get under. Don't want to make that any worse. Can I get up top? I can. Good. So I might actually mount a seat up here for when I'm playing around with it. And then do some more on it later. But 
I want some more weapon mounting areas, so... That look like it's actually cool. I get one thinner. If there was, it'd be in specialized. Oh wow, don't want that. That's more of what I'm talking about. How long is that? Whoa. These are just going to continuously get bigger. I can make a freaking barn silo out of that. Dang. Okay. I'm getting off off track. Gosh, that thing is... It's going to send this off into oblivion. It will. I don't think it can. Getting stuck. Dang. Nope, nothing I can do with that thing over there. Hmm. My eyes are starting to get really tired. I've been going since 9.30 p.m. and it is now 4.30 a.m. So my eyes are about to give out on me. I'm still here doing this because I'm an idiot sometimes. Actually, a lot of the time. That's beside the point. No, I can't use that. Where? Uh. Deals. Maybe there's something in there that'll be useful. That actually might be very useful. It fits. Which it does. Awesome. Is that touching the... Oh, it's touching the ground. No, it's just that much too long. Alright, that's still... I'm not going to get much better than that. Oh, go ahead and weld that to there. Weld it to this. That. And weld it to there. This is sort of a extra hatch. Also, so that I can add these. That's the main reason for it. But I can finally go and do this. Right here. Maybe it won't let me. Being a little glitchy. Yeah, that's probably how to mount that. Do I have moves? I don't feel like I should answer that. That seems like a pretty immature question. Calling me fat, then I take that as an insult. I don't have rules against it, but I don't feel like I have to answer that question. Still get in good. And no, I can't. I'm stuck. So I can get in, I can't get out. Crap. So I'm just going to have to leave that open. And in the back. Hmm. I 
wasn't really taking it the the wrong way. It's just like that's more of a personal question um, about me, and I I wouldn't say I'm necessarily happy with my current weight, but I will say that I am extremely out of shape and I am a little bit overweight. But that is as far as I'm going to take the answer to your question. And I'm trying to get back into shape. I play airsoft and to be, an, to be an airsoft player, it's good to be in shape. Looks like our tank is pretty much complete as far as the body. Now I think it's just time to start mounting weapons of mass destruction. Alright, what do we got? Entities. Gonna stick some... Where are they at? I want... Where are my... Lightsabers, there we go. Lightsabers. I want some cool looking lightsabers, so I'm going to pick those. And they're going to have black beam with a dark inner blade, so actually they're going to be red with a black one. Blade width. Four blade length, 64. Actually, no, I don't need that much. Put it at 40. I want a dark saber with a dark saber sound, with a dark saber ignition sound. So if I spawn one, yes, that looks sick. I actually don't have moves. I will say that. I am overweight, but not as overweight as I could be. I know some of my friends are really overweight. Well, that's I increased the length on those, and that's like nothing. So I'm just going to jack that up. Much better! Yes. I can weld that. I have a lightsaber tool. I didn't realize that. I just... Nope, it just drops it. Darn. I'm eventually going to be using four of them. Maybe I can easy weld it. Yep, I can easy weld it. Good. They're already facing the right way. How good. I don't have to deal with the crap that I did with the other one. Now those are going nuts. Mount these right here. Turn it around. Awesome. Perfect. Now, I'm actually going to spawn in a couple more. Stick them. Put them.
I'm actually going to have them cross beams here in the front. About right here or so. Yeah. Awesome. That looks sick. And they work perfectly. I didn't mean to do that. So now the Battle Bus 2.0 is coming along very nicely. I'm actually very pleased with this. Compared to the old version that was made. It's just, it's no competition. The, uh, the Death Bus version 1 can go suck a knob! Because I have a new favorite. I'm amazed it actually held together that well. Do a barrel roll. I didn't land it. Oh well. See, if I did that to this one... Well, I'm actually not going to do that to this one, but just by slinging it around a little bit and it's still holding together pretty well, that just shows that this one is built to last and I don't have to worry about it at all. It has a little window so you can see through too. Alright. I'm actually going to mount a chair on it. Now, there, there we go, and we are going to stick some, uh, where are they at? Combine. Err it, err it, err it, err it. Try that again. Err it. Err it. Darn it. And turret no like me. Okay. So we're going to just have to move it onto there. A little bit more forward. There we go. Oh, got it. Oh, dang it! Ah, crap. Oh. What? Oh. Now that it's on there, I can weld it. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Hopefully they won't shoot me if I'm sitting in that chair, which I'll probably want to test. Right about now. I'm sitting here. Good, they don't shoot me. I'm up here, they don't like me. <laughs> Good. All right. We now have all of that. I'm actually going to add some more thrusters. So if I want to go forward on the left, 
Those would be on this side. Why those are all going wonky on me. Why are those all doing that? Ah. There, 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 there. That's good. Say I put those on the wrong controls anyway. All right, arrow. Up there. 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 One there. That should spin it around quite nicely. Yes. Battle tank. Awesome. Alright, now we actually need some real thrusters. Go forward and reverse. We're gonna achieve that with some of these on the bumper. Actually, not on the bumper. That's a bad idea. Actually gonna do it on frame itself. Alright, what are these set to? Dad gummit. These on shift. Roll. Want them. Actually I want them just like this. Two, four, do one at each little notch. There. Let me see what that does. That works pretty well. We can actually afford to do the last three. And it not cause too many issues. That looks cool, though. It's like roasting zombies in the back. What does that do to the actual car, though? Is it a nice little speed boost and a nice little brake? Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Very pleased with how this is coming. All right. Hmm. Now, what do? What else do we want to? Know? We're getting something very ah hover balls. That's right. Yes, the hover ball thing that makes so makes the entire system go up or down. We are going to place these right in the conveniently located pieces down here. Because in our last test, these were the whole thing that saved everything. Some more here on the center pieces. It's because this is a much larger vehicle and requires a much higher strength. I'd like it was a little bit more centered. Oh. 
thing off. What about this? That is this one. Alright, it should be alright. Flying vehicle. Yes. Yes. Awesome. That's a success. Okay, what time is it now? It is almost 5 o'clock. So, I think it is about time to test it. And at 5 o'clock, that'll mark the end of Decode's Friday Night Marathon stream. That has been going since 9.30 p.m. until... That will be going until 5 a.m. Saturday morning. It's ridiculous! I can do longer, which I will do eventually. Pretty sure over spring break, which is coming up very soon. I think it starts next week. So over my spring break, I will definitely be doing a 24-hour stream at some point. So be on the lookout for that. You can be notified of that if you follow my Twitch. Um... And the only way to be notified of that is to be following a follower of my Twitch channel, decode underscore gaming, all lowercase. If you just go to www.twitch.tv slash, or backward slash, decode, D-C-O-D-E underscore gaming, it'll take you directly to my channel and you can hit the follow button from there. Be notified whenever I stream on your email. Uh, you do have to have a Twitch account in order to follow, same as YouTube, as if you were to subscribe. But uh, if you guys are watching from YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button because my uh, my streams that I do post, if you miss them, I post them up to YouTube the same night. So uh, just be noted of that. And uh, might take an hour or two to actually be posted to YouTube after the stream ends. Just because of processing time, the videos will last a good over an hour apiece. Sometimes even more more than two hours if I play a game that long. But we are just going to spawn an army of zombies. This is going to be very, very laggy. Oh, so laggy. But murdering this amount of zombies will be a feat. This is about twice the zombies we had during the last mowdown. Let's get to it. Oh, nuts. I forgot to actually release the, uh, the monster. I can get up on top now. Ah, I'm stuck. It's killing without me. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, it's so laggy. So so laggy. We're actually floating now, so it's a little bit easier to control while in the sky. And I can still hit people with the lightsabers. Eat that, zombies. This is such a success. It's already a success. Just the way that this thing is able to spin around and slice up zombies like crazy. 
either by hitting them just flat with the wheel, the fact that it's so easy to control, just it makes all the difference compared to the old one. This is... This doesn't even have a flaw. This is working perfectly. The steering works great. It's definitely all-terrain, because I don't know of anything else that it could get through. It just took out a pyramid of zombies. And the body, it's not warped or anything. It's still completely solid. Nothing has gone wonky. I'm gonna get back on the ground. The steering works beautifully. The guns are going like they're supposed to. The lightsabers are just mowing these zombies down. I mean, there is no way, in any way, that I can call this a failure. We do have the main support being a little wonky right now, just with everything that's going on. Everything's tilting a little bit, but the thing is still together, and it looks awesome. So, that's a success. I mean, there's no other way to look at this. I'm just going to do one last charge at him. Finish them off. I'm drifting to finish off the last zombie. This is a total success, and it's a, so fun to drive. It's a little difficult with how I've got the, uh, during the flying thrusters going. But, oh my gosh, this works so good. And now we can do donuts. Except when we do that, then we break it. But, it fixes itself. That's a good sign. As long as it fixes itself, then heck, I have no problem. No quarrels here. The steering works great. I could probably make this an only flying vehicle, and it can control just as well. Um, with the and the actual controls going up and down being the forward and backward thrusters and that would be perfectly fine but I mean heck I'm gonna go flying I'm just gonna take it up into the air and start going through the city because this is decode this is my death bus I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm tired. It has been a very, very long night. With much rage. Much CUDA. Those of you who don't know what CUDA is, I'm, you better appreciate that shout out, CUDA. Um, much Death Bus, much Gmod. Some TF2, some Battlefield. Almost two successful moon landings on Kerbal Space Program. And we managed to get through a marathon stream. This has not been my first marathon stream, and it will definitely, yeah, it will definitely not be the last. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed making this. I really thank you guys for being here. Be sure you hit the follow button on my Twitch. That helps me tremendously. Um, everything I do right now, I make no money off of it. None of my videos are monetized on YouTube. Um, I don't make any money off of my Twitch. Even if you get ads, I apologize for that because I don't make any money off of those ads. Which sucks. Um, it won't always be that way because I'm in college gotta make money somehow and my airsoft tech business I don't make a lot from it I'll just say that um, that is technically my job I am a full-time student at my college uh, at my university so my time is low and these videos are what I do during my free time so I will eventually have to do something but right now completely free I don't make any money off of these. I mean, you guys don't have to pay to watch them, obviously. But uh, I don't make any money off of these. So no, no, ben 
Every single piece of benefit goes to you guys, my viewers. I do everything I do for you guys, and I will continue doing it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Decode, and we'll see you next time.